So this video is largely just to let people know where I'm going with this channel. I'm not expecting it to get a ton of likes, I'm not expecting to get new subscribers for it at all. I'm just sharing what I'm planning on doing with this channel, with the brand Skyravelous across different platforms, and I'm going to try to do it in a more concise way than when I originally recorded this video, and it was 20 minutes long. Yeah, that video is ridiculously long and I'm not going to be posting it, so this is take two. Basically, in summary, Skyravelous is across four platforms. Yes, YouTube, which is the main hub for my stories, Instagram, as well as Facebook. I have a page on Facebook, and those two basically post the same stuff. I might post status updates on Facebook, which isn't really something that Instagram allows, but other than that, like those two are pretty interchangeable. If you're following one, you're following the other, basically, if you're trying to know what I'm going to be posting over there. And TikTok. TikTok for Skyravelous, for some reason, has given me lots and lots of trouble, unfortunately. So, yeah, I've had a lot of audios of my own design flagged, muted, etc., etc., despite not doing anything wrong and performing totally fine on other platforms, not having any issue on other platforms. I think TikTok just has something against dark art. I've seen several artists who post darker stuff getting flagged for asinine reasons every so often. So if you're following Skyravelous on TikTok, there's a lot you're missing out on because there's so much that I literally cannot post because they don't have their algorithm together at this point in time. As far as the content I will be posting on Skyravelous, I will be posting primarily stories. I'm a writer first, illustrator second, and I am just someone who wants to help you third, I guess would be a good way to put it. So mainly you're going to see stories. I'm going to interchange them after the current horror story that I'm working on right now, The Realm of Phobia's Treachery, after that is all done, I'm going to interchange those types of stories with ones that are not horror. So, horror, not horror, horror, not horror, horror, not horror, etc. In between those posts, if I have something significant that I've done illustration-wise, or just a bit of advice that I feel like artists would find helpful, people who are not artists maybe even find helpful, I'll post that in between my posting sessions because I post every other week. So if it's post, no post, post, that's some free space that I can post some stuff when I have time. But you'll be expecting a lot more stories. Some of them are more involved. So I'm going to be, for sake of my pacing, and so that I have ways to say thank you as my subscriber count grows, I have them intentionally locked behind certain subscriber counts. And you might see little cryptic references to that every so often on my Insta stories, or I might put a little cute little, this story is locked until this many subscriber thing, like in parentheses, not read out loud, not narrated. You might see it every so often in a video. And that is to give incentive to subscribe, first of all, and mainly it's to pace myself. Because if I don't have some way to pace myself, I'm going to get overwhelmed too quickly because I'm going to get really excited and I want to share these stories with you. And it's just not possible with how much I have planned. That is why some of these will have sub count requirements to continue. I'm never going to not post stories. It's just certain storylines when I notice as a writer that they're getting too involved and they're going to be going in directions that are going to take a lot of time. I will stop them, I will put a sub count requirement on them, and I will start a new story. Something short, something that I can continue without overwhelming myself, etc, etc. But that's what I'm going to be doing with the stories. And you'll be seeing some of my illustrations in the stories. Like I said, if I want to share a process of a drawing, I might do that in between these regular posts. But that is what you can expect from this brand. Non-horror stories are coming soon. I'm super excited to debut those, because right now, if you don't like horror, I'm literally scaring you away, and that is not my intention. If you do like horror, I'm glad that you're getting scared. At least the feedback says that you're getting scared. I enjoy writing horror. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. But yeah, now I'm at basically at the point of rambling. So, if that has caught your attention, consider subscribing, and you can see some of the stories that I have planned. After the Realm of Phobias, I've recently gotten better at mixing audio. So the audio quality is going to increase after the Realm of Phobias is done. I have so much planned. I love writing. I love drawing. I love making art. Like, I'm so excited. Like I said, I need to pace myself with these sub count requirement things.
Otherwise, like, I will just be running on empty, much to the detriment of myself. All right. Anyway, done rambling. See you in the next video. Toodles. <laughs>